Uh, this house site is really close to the edge of the, of the coast now and it's uh, an active eroding coast. Uh, so uh, we have seen that already a corner of the house has disappeared. The house has uh, yeah, some bad prospects for the future because it's sitting directly where uh, the underlying sediments is really sand dominated and pretty coarse sand dominated. Uh, it's almost vertical and it's really like in a, in, in a sand pit. It is going to erode by pure gravity every summer when it dries out. And that happens to be just where this uh, site is, unfortunately. If it had been 10 meters to the side, I would have given it some more years. But now I think it's going to be eaten year by year, some decimeters per year perhaps. It is a very fragile type of heritage because it's almost invisible. And if people don't know, that this type of house sites are actually from the 18th century, then they might not even know that, that they are protected by law. These remains uh, hold so much information about how people lived, what they ate, uh, what type of vegetation was here at the time the house was built, uh, and uh, the whole economy of that time, uh, how important uh, hunting uh, cabins and settlements were, uh, and uh, it's a part of uh, human history that is uh, to me really important to, to preserve and to document, because uh, in due course of nature we will not be able to preserve it all, but at least we can document it and preserve it by record that way.